What's up, guys? Welcome to PTM, part of the Mandem, with your host, Cutsy. It's your host, Vegas. Yeah, we're going to talk about everything, sports, relationships, whatever the trending topics are. You know what I'm saying? Give you guys quick hits. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And we're going to start off with the sports, man, because that boy, John Morant, is back for the Memphis Grizzlies, man. Scored the game winner, the sensational layup against New Orleans Pelicans, who, you know what I'm saying, they're looking like they might be trading Zion. But um, can John Morant bring the Memphis Grizzlies to the playoffs? I believe right now the record is, what, 7-19? and 7-19. I believe they're, a, well, they're a few games behind from Golden State. I believe Golden State has the last place in the West for the play-in. So do you believe that John Morant will be able to get the Memphis Grizzlies to the playoffs? I think if John Morant continues to stay focused, play his game, you know what I'm saying? Let the game come to him. Just like his mama said to him. I, I saw that that little thing where he, he was talking to his mama. That you know what I'm saying? You, you, let the, you let the game come to you. You do your thing. You stay out of fucking trouble. You know what I'm saying? And you just you play hard and... You involve your teammates. I think he is definitely the the uh, that uh, adrenaline boost for the Memphis Grizzlies to uh, at least reach the plane. At least, I think they've lost too much ground. One, and I think there's too much loss. I believe that the Dylan Brooks leaving the team. I think that was a big thing for the culture of their team. He was the grit. Steve Adams, he's not he's gone for the the rest of the season as well. And I believe I'm not sure about their backup center. I'm not too sure. I forgot him, but he was injured as well. I I believe that they will have a good showing. I think they gotta win like 32 or 22 games just to get like to be uh uh 50 and 50. I, I just don't see it happening. I, I don't see it happening. I honestly think they should take. Why they have nothing to play for this season, anyways, other than just like you know, just playing just to show people that they're a good team. Tank the season, see if you can get a good draft pick. Either you trade for another player to put around Jaw, or maybe draft a good player to put around Jaw and build from there. But I don't see them winning a championship. I think I don't think it makes sense. Now, but going back to the question, can Jaw bring them to the playoffs? Yes, he can bring them to the playoffs. I don't think he will though. But how do you tank though? What what do you just you play all your young core, you like your young players, develop them a little bit and let and sit all your superstars off the bench? Wouldn't that be a I mean, problem for the NBA? You're not supposed to tank. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're oh. not supposed to tank at all. But I mean, mm -hmm. you just me personally, I wouldn't even have brought John back yet. I would have said he was still injured or something was wrong with him, or you know, flu, something, illness, and just bring him back around like all-star game. I think Josh coming back, obviously, for money. He needs to play, obviously, to get some sort of money and for the contracts and all that stuff. But, yeah, I, I would tank if I was them. All right. That's that for that. Yeah, hey, man. Um, recently, well, a couple of months ago, there was a leaked um, Kendrick Lamar diss. He was dissing everybody, a bunch of people. And one of the people that, obviously, Kendrick Lamar has been going back and forth was Big Sean. So TMZ caught up with Big Sean and asked, is him and Kendrick Lamar okay? Are they good? And how does he feel about the diss? And he responded by saying, what diss? Like, if he was really a diss, it would be a diss. You know, it would be a diss diss. And he also said that him and Kendrick Lamar are cool. What's your thoughts on this? Man, they're rappers, bro. There's always going to be some sort of rapper tension, man. Like, you couldn't... Okay, look, as a rapper, if I was Big Sean, and I'm, and I'm feeling like I'm... Up there with J. Cole and Drake and Kendrick. I feel like I'm I'm probably better than J. Cole or I'm better than Drake. I'm feeling like that. So for Kendrick to be throwing those shots and for me to be like that's cool or feel like a way, like, no, nah, I'm feeling a way. I'm probably going to automatically have something for him. Like every rapper should have something for everybody. A diss song if niggas start, you know what I'm saying? Playing games. Okay, you you playing games with me? I right, boom right off the rip. You know what I'm saying? I think Big Sean, he he just doesn't want to make it seem like there's an issue because he's not really relevant. He's not hot. He's people can easily bury him now. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't really have fan support. 
then I'm saying that's why it's kind of slough off the question. But like, I definitely think there's something like in the back, in the back, in the back, in the back. And there's something going in like, yeah, some, you know what I'm saying? I definitely don't think it was a diss either. I don't, I don't think it was a diss diss from Big Sean's take. I, I, I feel what he's saying because I believe that for Kendrick's level, Kendrick would have ate him. Kendrick would have ate him alive. Like when Kendrick gets at you, he gets at you. Even if it's a subliminal, you know it's you. Like he's coming for you. Like when he was going at Drake, he would have been subbing Drake a lot. You know he was subbing Drake. Because there's nobody else he's talking about. Like, you know what I'm saying? Who else is top five? It's Drake and Cole. Sean's not even in those conversations anymore. So I feel like he he knows that. I don't think it's I don't think it's beef between them anymore. I think that Loki, they've probably spoken. I think that Big Sean's like again. He's not in that conversation anymore. Before it was the the Drake, Cole, Kendrick, and Sean, and then whoever else, ASAP. You could throw ASAP in there. ASAP and Sean are not in those conversations anymore. You know what I'm saying? They're out of those conversations. I think this is a this is a J Cole Drake universe, unfortunately. And I'm I'm sorry to say this as a Kendrick fan. I don't even think Kendrick gave. Kendrick's not in those boats anymore. I'm sorry until he starts really smoking them niggas and he does it periodically and that's my problem with him j cole every year comes out and he shows you he's goaded like he's one of those guys drake even though drake comes out every year and shows you like yeah i'll do my my albums and everything but don't forget when my pen is still my pen is very nasty still so kendrick does it it's like i, I just need more i don't have enough um what else do we have on the docket here rashid wallace spoke to i believe he's on the gilbert arenas podcast he was speaking to the fact that why he was never been in a 2k game and he spoke on i believe it was uh charles barkley scotty pippen all of them not being on 2k because 2k didn't ctc but ctc cut that check you know what i'm saying are, are they selfish for not being on 2K? Or are they, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're holding their ground. <sighs> I think they're in between the dilemma of fan service and feeding family. You know what I'm saying? It's like, what to me is more important? I remember Charles Barkley was talking to the kid that asked him the question. And he was like, if... Like he would have been in the game if 2K agreed to give a certain amount of money to the NBA veterans uh thing, whatever, whatever NBA veterans thing they have set up to mm. pay these veterans, you know what I'm saying, that are in the game, that's an amount of money that, because they have them in the game too, right? They have the older players or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? Um, We just recently saw Rashid Wallace say, yeah, they they never cut the check. They're, they're offering him $10,000 to be in the game when they know they make that fucking they make half a billion dollars in the next six months with the sales of the game plus the 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 currency that they have in game and all sorts of shit that they do and the you know what i'm saying it's like you guys make that so why haven't you cut the check you know what i'm saying so but are in my play, but personal are the opinion selfish? are the players selfish yeah in my personal opinion though i feel it's 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 just you're selfish because it's just like bro you guys are fucking superstars and, and we want to pretend to be you guys sometimes. And that's one way to pretend to be you guys. Give us an opportunity to be Rasheed Wallace and the Detroit Pistons. And I was thinking the bad boys, let me recreate that. Let me give you some more points. Like that. I want to feel that way. So yeah, that's selfish for me. Um, I'm going to try to make this quick, but Baron Davis was on the Joe Button podcast. And I believe they asked him what's more important, um, getting the bag or getting the ring. Like, you know, the, you know, get that big contract or getting the ring. And he said, getting the bag. The NBA is a job. That's your job. You're supposed to go to work and do your job. Now, winning the ring, that's a little bit extra, right? Obviously, that's a blessing, this and that and the third. But if you don't win a ring, it's still your job. Like, that's the job that you were working hard to do and get paid for. You know what I'm saying? To take care of your family, take care of your future, whatever it may be. So in that sense, I don't feel like they're being selfish. 2K makes... You play 2K. You can't even do any, if you're trying to create a player, you can't even do anything without buying the points. Pretty much like without buying those points, you're you're worth it. So yeah. I can only imagine how much money they made off of that alone. Not even just people buying the game, buying the thing. You've probably spent more money on upgrading your player than buying the game. 
Yeah. So yes, as an NBA player, I I want in on that because my likeliness, all this. When you sign a contract, it doesn't say anything about two K and all this out here. Yeah. So yeah. yes, if you're gonna use my face, my player for whatever, you might be doing some random stuff with my player. Two K got some real left with stuff. Mm-hmm. I want you to pay me. I'm sorry, you got to be paying me. <laughs> That's fact. That's fast. Because yeah, like you said, real quick before we get off of this. For me to use Allen Iverson's moves or Kobe Bryant's moves, I gotta pay like five hundred coins to even get those moves. For me to even emulate them, so yeah, yeah, you. But still, I still feel selfish, regardless. <laughs> I, regardless, like fuck yeah, you guys get bread, dog. Selfish ass Rasheed Wallace, man. <laughs> um, so the GTA hacker, the GTA Six hacker, was sentenced to life in hospital prison. For anybody out there that's listening to this, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> like, what does it mean to get life in a hospital prison? Like, is he mental? Like, is it a mental institution? I don't know. But is this even fair that you're getting life in prison to being a hacker for a video game? Like, is it that serious? Did he hack the full game or something? Like, what did he hack? Bam. When you ha- when you're a hacker, you hack everything. You have all the files. You have the asset files. You have the executables. You have you have the data, the the graph. You can actually did, just build that shit on your own. At did that he have point. the downloadable content that was coming out for the next couple of months too? Like, he pro- yeah, he probably have like the first draft. You know what I'm saying of of GTA Six RAM in his computer. But like to get life in a hospital, I don't. I really don't know what that means, bro. And I think that shit is funny. Like, are you like locked up on the bed? Like, I think what they're trying to say, like he's 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 got sent us like a, a a ward or like a a psych ward or something because they might mm. deem him crazy or something. But what's crazy about being a hacker? You know what you're doing. I feel like they're gonna make him work for them. That's what would make sense. Like, we let that. That's why they get his life in hospital. Nah, he's in life in working with us now. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna hack whatever we want him to hack now because he ain't going nowhere because pretty much he, they probably know like yo if you're able to hack this game he could probably hack like some russian some mm. china thing like come here come over here we're gonna tell everybody you're in jail you know it's crazy actually you say that fucking you ever seen that show i can't remember the show but he had the blacklist and he had the blacklist of all those people like and he ended up working for the government like his daughter was mm, you know what i'm saying like yeah like a lot of those show. times i never watched it my pops always loved that show the show's dope still but like yeah those criminals sometimes they convert them still they say yeah you're working for us even bad boy they they brought the youth out from the prison and he was a soup he was the best hacker and he was like oh, yo yes, so, yes. remember that part remember <laughs> yo yo the cia is nuts broski yeah, I mean, you can't trust them people that you can't trust them people that. But um, last thing before we get out of here, um, crazy. So Cassie was allegedly paid off in Diddy a couple of weeks ago, a couple of months ago with this whole thing that was going off. But one of her friends came out and is reporting about Diddy secret parties and the stuff that was going on between him and her, like just continuously going off about uh, the abuse that was going on with Cassie. But one of the things that she spoke about that got everybody in that was trending all over was about the secret parties and who she saw coming out of the secret parties. Allegedly, Mr. T.D. Jakes was coming out of those parties. No way. The pastor? The yes, the pastor. Never would have made it. I know he didn't sing that song, but you know what I'm saying? That's that's what I think of when I think of T.D. Jakes. T.D., what? what the hell were you doing at Diddy's parties? Really? Maybe he was praying for everybody. Maybe he heard. I want to say that he probably heard about the things that were going on and he wanted to pray some stuff out of those parties. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh, that's cap, dog. Like, yo, I don't know, bro. Them, fam, those, like, ah, fam, I don't know. I think at some point we have to not believe certain things, bro. And I don't want to believe td jakes i know there's some crazy pastors that do wild stuff and all sorts of stuff but come on bro td jakes though never would have thought it i never would have thought it i believe he was there i believe i 100 believe he was there um i believe he was trying to pray for the people them there or like did he brought him there for whatever reason to pray out something and somebody i don't know but I definitely believe he was there. I don't care what anybody says or thinks. That's my opinion. 
Nah, man. TD Shout out TDJ yeah. for going to the DD parties. They didn't say he was doing anything crazy at the parties. He just said he was there. Why can't it be? Why can't DD? Why can't TDJ? Why can't a pastor be at a DD party? Oh well, yeah, he could. He could be there. He definitely could. They be didn't there. say what. Well, it could have been an all white Diddy party. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It could have been like a a a, a Diddy brunch. It didn't have to be one of the crazy parties. Yeah, it could have been a brunch or something. They right? say it was a secret party, though. I, like, I don't know. They said it was a secret, a lot. That it was a secret party. Maybe it was a secret, private, upscale. I don't know. You know, one person I, I heard that uh, when out came out was it was in that party was was Kanye West. Or... I heard Method Man say something about that too. But why was Method Man there? That's what I'm saying. What are you doing there, Method Man? How you seeing a nigga sucking another nigga dick in the bathroom? How you seeing that? And what like, did you what? say when he was doing that? You just see you just seen it and said, "Oh my bad." Kanye gets a lot of flack for no for I don't know for a reason, but at the same time, sometimes for no reason. So, but. Whenever you're out, it's hard Yo, oh shit, that just scared me. He makes the best music, though. I can't lie to you, dog. I need music, vultures. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. Vegas is going to send me the link for it next week. Yeah, right. I'm going to get it for my dog. My dog probably has, has it still. Lab yeah. cook. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's been your PTM. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And it's your boys from the Mandem Show. We're off of this. Peace.